Hello everyone, this is Lydia at Homespun Quilts and Yarn in Astoria, Oregon. Today I'm going to do some quarter square triangles. And you start off by making half square triangles. On my finished size, I would like to be four inches. And so I'm going to add an inch and a half to that four inches finished. So I'm cutting five and a half inch squares. And I'm doing that because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room. If you are the perfect seamstress quilter, go ahead and use one and a, add one and a quarter inch to the finished size and that will give you the finished size of four inches. So the first thing on half square triangles, of course, is cutting your squares and drawing a diagonal line from corner to corner and then sewing a quarter inch on each side of that line and that's what I've done here. Um, in this quarter square triangle my background and my print are the same. So I layered those right sides together and now I'll sew the other half square triangle together here. And this will give me how many? It will give me four, which is probably way more than I need, but just for fun, we'll have extras to play with. So very exciting. Here I am sewing. Quarter inch on the line, on the line. You can hear my sewing machine. Usually sewing machines sound like they all need oil on the screen. In fact, do I even need this second set? I don't think I really do. But, like I said, just for funsies. Sewing, sewing. So there's my second set. I'm going to take, sorry I kicked the camera. Now I'm going to cut these half square triangles apart right on the drawn line I made. Ah, a rotary cutter. This is an awesome rotary cutter. It's by Creative Grids. It's got some heft to it. So it's taking the pressure off my wrist and elbow, which I really need. Okay, there's that part. Now I have two half square triangles that look the same. I'm going to give these a quick press. And I'm going to press them both to the yellow side. Not quite like the dark side of the moon. Nothing is ever quick when the camera's blank. Okay, so here these are, and now I want to layer these two, but I want to make sure when I layer them that my fabrics are opposite each other. And I'm going to nest those two seams together here. And just to be paranoid, I'm going to pin this right across the seam. Next thing we do is draw a line corner to corner going opposite our seam. And I'm lining up my 45 degree ruler line on the edge of my block and the corner at the tip of that square. And this should give me, there we go. Well, it should give me a lot of things, but it didn't today. So 
So my line's going to be a little crooked, but because I'm oversized this, it's not going to be an issue. Whew, that's really bad. But like I said, I am not perfect. So here we go. Oh, um, I want this to go under my needle this way so the seam gets pushed against the other block. That'll help um, make it mesh nice and easily. Make it pretty. I'm not a huge talker, so sorry about the silence. Quarter square triangles are found. Um, you can see them in Ohio stars. You can see whole quilts made with them, and they're really pretty. I should have printed some pictures for people to look at. Okay, so there's my other one. Same thing, draw the diagonal line, so a quarter inch on each side. Try to have the seam pointed toward your needle when you sew that. I'm gonna cut this one in half, right on that line. And then press them open. And now you can see that I've got a nice quarter square triangle. This one's using two colors. You could also use four colors or three colors. So the other thing you can do to make these nice and flat is to twist this seam. You're just going to do that by kind of ripping out these here. I know these here doesn't sound like a... Let's see. And somehow... Okay, well... Oh, always had there we go. So then I want to press this seam allowance opposite. So I'm going to go back and do that. By twisting that, this block will lay a lot flatter. So my last step is going to be squaring this up. And the way you square it up is you take your unfinished size. In my case, I want four and a half inches unfinished. I divide that by two and I get two and a quarter. So I'm gonna take my two and a quarter inch mark on my ruler And I'm going to line that up right on the center point. And I'm just going to check the camera to see how well you can see that. The camera may move. Okay. So hang on a second. I'm going to move this up. See if you can see this better. So right here is my center point. And this is my two and a quarter inch line. And this is my two and a quarter inch line. And they match right up in the very center. And then my diagonal line on my ruler is right on that seam. Then I'm just going to square it up like you would a half square triangle. Sorry about the camera. Let's see, are we pretty much back? Okay. 
You always want to have equal amounts taken off the sides of these, otherwise you'll end up with short quarter squares. Same thing now. I'm going to line up my two and a quarter inch on the center, right here, right here. My diagonal ruler lines right there. And there's my finished quarter square triangle, however you decide to put it. Okay, the other one I'm going to do is using three different fabrics. So I've done the same thing. I've got two fabrics. Um, let me open this up because I'm not explaining it well. My three fabrics are this light blue, the mustard color, and the aqua. So I've already drawn my line and sewn on either side of those seams. Now this one, I've drawn the line, but I need to sew it. I'm sure I'm forgetting something here. Let me read my notes. <laughs> 